David Smith spent years of his life looking like this, trapped inside his 630-pound body. No money, no house, no cars, no job, no education. There's nothing out there for me. But when upbeat personal trainer Chris Powell entered his life, David lost 401 pounds. Three years ago, their remarkable story earned worldwide attention. We flew to Tokyo. Which we, we did a show in Japan. Well, of course, yeah, we were on The View. You know, when you're that big, you know, people look at you all the time. And I just got smaller and smaller, and people started ignoring me. And that was great, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it means a lot to me when somebody comes up to me and, and tells me that they've changed their life because of me and, and because of Chris. At the end of the day, we'd sit there in the living room and we're thinking, is this really our life? Good times, good times. Water. Back then, these wonder bros did everything together. For David, Chris was the only real buddy he'd ever known. Could you ever have imagined that you'd have a friend like Chris? No, you know, it's amazing that we're such good friends. He's, he's like my brother, you know. He's my angel here on earth. But that's when Chris met an angel of his own, Heidi. As their romance blossomed, Chris knew that his emotionally fragile friend might not be feeling the love. I was really worried about him. I didn't want him to feel abandoned. When he was finally able to communicate with me, he shared with me that he's, he's lonely. What's that like to hear? It breaks my heart to hear it because he deserves somebody so great and I don't want him to be lonely. When he started dating Heidi, of course, you know, there was less D and CP time. <laughs> Seeing him with somebody made me think about myself. Maybe I should get, get going. <laughs> so David put himself into the mix, hitting the single scene, a 30-something still haunted by the man he once was, a social recluse. I know how to talk to people. Too shy. Never been on a date in my life. One night, all that would change. A night he couldn't wait to tell Chris about the following morning. Cat blows through the door. He's like, dude, you guys got to sit down and listen to this one. <laughs> David's big night had begun with a makeout session in the backseat of a car with not one, but three women. You know, they each took turns, you know, like, Passing me back and forth as far as like learning how to kiss. When one of them asked him upstairs, David's years of sexual inexperience ended rapidly. And then it was over really quick. And I wanted a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like sex. <laughs> I'll be honest, the, the kid had some swagger for the next week. He, he did, and, and it was great. Thrilling, yes, but for David, unfulfilling. What he wanted was love. I wish I could have saved myself for that special girl. I, I wish I just could have waited. He's not a shallow, one-night stand kind of guy. He needs to have somebody who truly understands him. But would he ever find her? As David's quest for true romance continued, Chris urged David to take steps towards a career of his own. My deal with David was get certified to be a trainer. So I helped him through his ACE exam, and now he's a certified personal trainer. Don't give up. Don't give up. Right from the start, David was never afraid to be tough on his clients. Give me five more, five more. Five. Pushing them to lose those pounds and lose their lunch, too. Let's do one more. Oh, my goodness. All right. What's it like to make people throw up? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I do make people throw up, it, it, it kind of makes me feel good about what I'm putting them through. I know exactly what these people are going through. And that's where Jeff comes into the picture. Hey, how you doing? Oh, man. Oh, how you doing, Jeff? Just like David back in 2003, Jeff Flossie was morbidly obese, tipping the scales at more than 530 pounds, desperate for someone to believe in him. David's story was very inspirational to me. I mean, especially being a heavy guy and dealing with all that. Faster, 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 faster. David took him on, driving Jeff to get in shape, just as Chris had done for him. The result? Jeff's lost a lot. 
High five. 150 pounds. I, um, I've been eating clean for nine months and working out for eight months. David Smith has absolutely been a big part of the change that's been in my life. As David worked at the gym, he would pass by bubbly 19-year-old Megan Povar. They never talked until Valentine's Day, the movie. I feel like so stupid for forgetting that it's Valentine's Day today. Oh, no, it's really not a big deal. We actually just happened to be leaving the gym at the same time, and um, I was on my way to a movie, and he had some time to kill, so I asked him to come with me. I've never been asked out in my whole life, and um, I actually remember telling myself, just go with it, just go with it. This is amazing. Until they talked for hours on their first real date, Megan did not know that David had once weighed more than 600 pounds and had despaired of ever finding someone to love. I didn't even at that point realize how much emotional strength that took for that kind of journey. Knowing that now, I'm even more impressed. <laughs> what did it feel like to be in a relationship for the first time? It felt great. I love it with all my heart. And I just look into her eyes, and the word love has changed its definition for me. And when I say I love Megan, it means a lot more to me. But there was one major hurdle left. What would Chris think of 33-year-old David's 19-year-old love? I, I, huge concerns about the age difference. I, I hear 19 years old and red flags, they go off. But at the same time, I haven't even met this girl, and I'm not going to give her a chance. She was nervous. and <laughs> would have been an understatement. Oh. <laughs> Why were you so nervous about meeting Chris? Well, I'd, I'd heard so much about Chris and all about how, you know, he put Chris on this pedestal. I, I have to make a good impression or I'm, I'm done for. <laughs> I'm toast. I've never met a 19-year-old girl who's so mature. We're trying to squeeze in so he has breaks to, you know. Who's so aware of who she is. I'm like, yeah. oh God, I love this girl. <laughs> She's great. It's not all sunshine, of course. Chris is concerned about the 35 pounds he's seen David gain back in recent weeks. Have you come to terms with your addiction with food and, and, and your tendency to fall back into your patterns of behavior? With my weight gain, I don't feel right right now. It's, it's not me. It's something that he needs to be more aware of. You know, at, at the same time, he's going through this incredible journey with, with Megan. David and Megan moved in together a few months ago while Chris and Heidi were married in June, even as Chris embarks on a reality show to treat the massively overweight. It's time for you to open your eyes for the first time. Dude, you have been dead for 26 years. It's Set for ABC next year, entitled simply, Obese. I can't say anything better than that. That's... <laughs> With new loved ones at the center of their lives, so much has changed for David and Chris. Yet one thing has not. They are still the best of friends. David is living his vision, paying it forward and helping other people transform as well. You know, if somebody was in my shoes a few years ago, I would just tell them not to give up, not to lose sight of what they really want in life. They'll get it. I got it. Eventually. <laughs>